Hello and welcome to another video on Microsoft Fabric. And in today's video, we will understand how can we migrate data from one custom semantic model to another custom semantic model using an external tool known as ALM Toolkit. In Microsoft Fabric, we do have deployment pipelines, but not all the features are right now supported in deployment pipeline. So one of the things which you can face as a challenge, how do you migrate your custom semantic models across various workspaces or within same workspace? So let me jump onto the Microsoft Fabric. I have opened Microsoft Fabric using app.powerbi.com and I have a workspace 01GA Fabric. Inside this 01GA Fabric, I have few semantic models for which I have already filtered it. And these one of these semantic model is WS01 Custom. Let me open this semantic model. I have clicked on the semantic model and that open that semantic model. And let me click on open semantic model inside this one further have a look at the semantic model. Now once I open the semantic model, you can see that I have already created few relationship amongst the table of this semantic model and this semantic model is ready for analysis. I have also created few majors in this semantic model. It means I can use this semantic model in my analysis and to showcase that I have already created a report on my power bi desktop using this semantic model so let me jump onto the power bi here in power bi i have created a report using microsoft fabric semantic model so i went to get data more and there i've used the microsoft semantic model to showcase what i am using here i'll go to transform data and data source setting and inside that one i can again click on wh01 and connect as the data refreshes you see there is no changes it means now it is pointing to the correct custom data set if i come back to microsoft fabric i can go to workspaces 01 ga fabric all my customatic models are appearing but i would like to create this again so what i'll do is i'll uncheck this and i'll check warehouses and i'll go to warehouse 01 which is the source for this custom semantic model but it is not necessary that you need to use the same warehouse or same lake house you might have created that new warehouse or lake house into different workspace or that might be your test or production workspace and you might have same set of tables which you already might have replicated using your transformation now the only thing you want is you want to create the same semantic model and you might have hundreds of majors or calculations and relationship into that semantic model you cannot do that all manually so how do you go ahead and do that so for that you can take help from ALM toolkit. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to again create a custom semantic model. So I'll go to the model tab and inside the reporting on the top, I'll click and create new semantic model. Here I don't want to bring in all the tables. I can just create it using one table and let me call it WH02 custom. So now I'm going to create WH02 custom using only one table let me click on create the custom semantic model is getting created and once it is created it should load that model onto the screen the custom semantic model has been created and has been loaded and as you can see it only have one table now what i'm going to do is i'm going to complete this model using alm toolkit for that i would be needing the workspace url and to get that i'll open a new tab and inside the new tab, I'll go to the workspace 01 GA fabric and click on three dots, go to workspace settings and inside the workspace setting, I'll go to premium and I'll get the workspace connection URL. Let me copy this. Let me open the ALM toolkit. Once ALM toolkit open, you will see at this kind of a UI where you need to give a source. I'll give the URL. And when I tab out, it will ask for login. Let me do the login. Once I'm done with my login onto the ALM toolkit, it will allow me to see the data sets or semantic model. So I'm going to select WH01 custom semantic model, which I've used for my reports. Again, the target is the same workspace, but the model is different. And I'm going to choose WH02 custom there. I want to move the data set or the custom semantic model information from WS01 to WS02 custom. 
let me click on okay it will bring a comparison one thing which we do in elm toolkit is hide and skip object with the same definition after that whatever is remaining we can do the changes now here in this case when i've done that as you can see there are two definitions which are same model and database query even if they are not same try not to update the database query because database query between these test and the production environment or dev test and production environment could be different so please don't update that always go ahead and choose a skip in this case it's already a skip because i have used the option hide and skip object with same definition and then i have enabled it again using to skip objects now other things like customer information it wanted to do a little bit of update we can check what is the difference and as you can see there is one little difference in the age column which summarized by is none and here it is sum and we will let that definition go in and it is showing me all the relationship and major and also a test table there are certain table which are not created in our schema as of now and we would like let them be created now next thing what we do is validate selection click on the validate selection and it has passed the validate selection without any warnings or error if it doesn't then you might not be able to migrate now click on the update that's the next step once i click on the update it will give me a message are you sure you want to update the target please make sure the target database is one which you wanted to update it is not by mistake any source which you update let me click on yes and very quickly it has migrated all the changes i have migrated very big models and it has done that job also in few seconds let's look at the comparison and this time there is nothing to migrate it's everything is same so now let's go back to the microsoft fabric and look at our custom semantic models now this is the our custom semantic model wh02 custom let me refresh this and as you can see it got many tables and some of them is showing the errors but it got the tables it also got the relationships and majors now before you go ahead and do anything go back to your workspace and refresh the semantic model you have few options one is in front of the semantic model itself there is a refresh or you can open the semantic model and there is a refresh option here on the top you can click on refresh now and let it refresh it is showing the refresh status here you can also go to refresh history check out whether the data set has been refreshed or not data set has been refreshed now you can open the model and check all those signs have gone away all your relationships are intact a time has come that we check the report which we have already created on particular semantic model so i'll jump out of the power bi and in power bi i'll go to transform data click on data source setting you can now select the wh02 custom semantic model and use connect once you click on connect it will refresh and after the refresh as expected it is showing the same data here now i have created this custom semantic model on the same data warehouse but you can create it on a different warehouse in a different workspace and it should also work only thing which you need to take care don't migrate that data based object settings and with that you should be able to work across different data warehouses different lake houses and workspaces so why don't you go ahead and try that out and let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video thank you